All right, Rankin family. So we are going to be looking at a J. Patrick Holmes right here in Jordan Ranch. As you can see, you're going to have that stone exterior with the stucco. As soon as you walk into the covered front porch, then you're going to have your double doors right here. They do have some inventory that's in there right now, and it is painted brick. So we can see about getting the other one as well, the exterior to be very similar to this one. And then what we'll do is we'll go into the first bedroom. So this one, you'll have the nice size ceilings in here. You'll definitely have the unique ceiling fan up there. Plus you have the LED lighting on top. Nice size windows in here. And then as you can even see, the flooring is, uh, is actually ceramic tile. Ceramic tile is absolutely great. One of my most favorite flooring and right behind that would be engineered wood. And the reason why I say that, of course, I tell all clients it's extremely durable. You'll thank me later once you have to clean it. So this one will be a total of four bedrooms in here. Good thing is this will be the bedroom right to uh, the left as soon as you walk in. And then of course you're gonna have your standing shower with your shower bench. You got your nice backsplash right there, tile backsplash. Absolutely gorgeous. Of course, if this is your first time at the channel, my name is Marcus Rankin. I'm a Houston, Texas realtor. I get calls, texts, and emails every single day from folks moving out here. So if you're in that bucket now or in the future, reach out. Of course, that will be a nice size chandelier right there. You'll have your office over there to the left. And then what we'll do is we'll see over here, you should have your powder bath right here as well. A nice size powder bath situated right off to the left, kind of hidden. And then of course we'll go to the primary bedroom. So I know the main thing is a lot of folks want the primary bedroom with, the, of course, the tray ceiling. So that way you don't have to worry about that. Of course, the ceramic tile comes in here as well. That's another thing you want to make sure that you have all the ceramic tile with the tray ceilings on top and the nice chandelier that just adds a nice touch. Of course, you got your bay windows right here. You have plenty of space. And that's one of the things that you really want inside the primary bedroom, how we always talk about is having a lot of space. So even just seeing right here, you can see how much space you'll have in here. Of course you have your accent wall over there and then with your 12 foot ceilings. And this will be your primary bathroom. So you got your ensuite right here, nice oversized soaking tub, as you can see right here. So. You have your soaking tub and then walk into the standing shower, two entryways with your double shower or your double shower heads rather. Plus you got your two waterfall showers. You got your shower niche right here as well. You got two of those. Double sinks as well in here, quartz countertops. You got the hanging chandeliers from both sides. Nice size lighting fixtures and then a nice size primary walk-in closet. So of course you got the built-in shelving right there. You got plenty of space. And just even taking a look at that, you can see how much space you have in this bathroom. You got the nice stone accent right there as well. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, J. Patrick Holmes, they do a fantastic job of just adding a lot of unique features. You'll even notice that even with the baseboards itself as well. And then of course this will be, you have your nice size great room, even going into the kitchen as well. You have your cabinet crowning on top, your double oven, wooden range hood, got your oversized island as well. Of course you got the backsplash that will match the countertops. You got your six burner gas stovetop, stainless steel appliances. 
And as you can even see, you have your under your cabinetry lighting as well. And of course, right here, you have your nice um, area. You have your seating area right here. Absolutely gorgeous. And then we'll head right here. So that way you can see the pantry. You have a nice size pantry, plenty of storage space in there. And of course, this will be your washer and dryer room. Your laundry room, you have enough space for the oversized laundry room. You got the ceramic tile that goes in here as well. Quartz countertops in the utility room sink. And then even just seeing the high ceilings, of course, you have your electric fireplace right there. Absolutely gorgeous. So we'll head upstairs so that way you can see upstairs as well. You got your curved staircase, even just going inside of here. And then a lot of folks love that chandelier. As soon as you walk in, that's a, an extremely modern um, chandelier. And even right here, you have another bedroom. So the good thing is this one, you'll have a lot more space inside of the bedrooms because it's a lot more square footage. And then even in here, so you could have your king size bed again with your two nightstands and you still have plenty of space. And then even the closet, you'll definitely have enough room inside the closet. And then of course you have your LED ceiling fans up there. A lot of folks love the LED ceiling fan. So that's always great to have that in some of the bedrooms, not just the primary. And of course you have your shower tub combo in here. So this would be connected to the bedroom, but also the hallway. So that way people have access to that. And then if you notice the ceramic tile, it is up here as well. It's on the second floor as well. So this will be just like a little study. You got your double sliding doors, built in cabinetry or your built in desk rather. And then of course you have your nice little lighting fixture up there. You got your shelving up here. So yeah, this could be utilized as you know, an office because you got the office downstairs, but a lot of folks would make this maybe a media room. And then you have your game room right here, tray ceilings, it extends up here as well, so that's good. And then you even have your second story balcony with the ceiling fans out there overlooking the backyard. This will be on a 70 foot lot. So you have plenty of backyard space over here as well. And then as you can see right here, this will be your official media room. So yeah, you could even utilize that other space as a, a secondary office or another bedroom. Of course, it doesn't have the windows with a closet, but it'll just be nice to have another room. And the good thing is about this one, you have plenty of space inside of the media room. You'd have your surround sound speakers, you got your window right here, but of course you have your shutter so that way you can shut that off and don't have to worry about it. And then even in here, you notice you have your theater like lighting fixtures. Of course, it'd be, it could, you know, maybe be dimmable and things like that. So give it that theater like environment. And then we'll head down this way and see the other bedroom as well. Before we do that, of course, this is a little, another closet right here. Put comforters, blankets in there. And then here will be your fourth bedroom. So yeah, two downstairs, two up. And like I said, in this J. Patrick Holmes, they definitely have a lot of bedroom space. So that way you don't have to worry about any of the kids' furnitures or whoever is living in the house with you. Absolutely gorgeous. Of course, you have another place to put towels and things like that.
Got your tile in here. Absolutely gorgeous. Stainless steel handles on the, um, the cabinets. And then, yeah, you have plenty of space. So, again, this is on a 70 foot lot. You know, of course, there are 70 foot lots, 80 foot lots, 90 to 100, depending on what you what you need. But I always say you never really want less than a 50 foot lot, depending if you're out there all the time. And then what we'll do is the last place, we'll go to the backyard so that way you see what's going on. And then you'll have your sliding glass door back here as well. And you can see what's going on. Of course, you have your covered patio. You always want that covered patio, definitely. And if you notice, even right here, they added a nice little golf putt-putt deal right here. But you have your built-in, um, you know, built-in uh, grill as well back here. You have plenty of patio space just to have the family out here. And then I'll show you even what a 70-foot lot would look like. So even as you can see, as I pan around, look how much space you have right here. You have plenty of space back there. And even seeing the uh, second story balcony right over the covered patio, you have plenty of space for entertaining guests. And of course, that is J. Patrick Holmes. All right, Rankin family, I hope you absolutely love that property. Let me know in the comments what you thought about it. Of course, if you do want more information, link in the description below, and I'll see you folks on the next video. All right, Rankin family, so we are looking at the J. Patrick Homes. Now, this one's in Arta Villa. This is the McKenzie. So you are going to have four bedrooms, four bathrooms, plus you're going to have a little bit under 3,500 square feet. This one is a three-car garage. And then of course, this is the model house. So a lot of them are gonna be upgrades, but as soon as you look on top of the ceilings, you're gonna have that rotunda like ceiling with the curved staircase. And then immediately we'll walk into the first bedroom. The good thing is about this bedroom, you do have the high ceilings, which creates that illusion of a lot more room. And quite frankly, it is a ton of space inside of here. You know, with this plan being a little bit under 3,500 square feet, you're definitely gonna see that as soon as you walk in. And so on this first bedroom, you're gonna have that accent wall right here. You have this king size bed with the two night tables. And as you can tell, you have plenty of space with the LED ceiling fan on top. And this one's gonna have a large full size bathroom that's attached. So of course you do have the white cabinetry with the stainless steel handles with the stainless steel lighting fixture. And you do have a full size walk-in shower. As you can tell, you have that waterfall shower head right there with the built-in shower bench. You have a nice size walk-in closet as well. The tile flooring extends inside of here, which is fantastic. And then you also have built-in shelving, which is perfect. You can put your linens in there or anything that you might need and as you can tell inside of here you do have the wood flooring inside of here as well not to mention you do have a powder bath now this one does have the quartz countertops with those floating floating countertops as well and the stainless steel lighting fixture and then obviously this area is perfect you can put your christmas tree right here and this will be going in to the kitchen. So you have your stack cabinets on top with the wooden range hood. You do have these quartz countertops in here, which is absolutely fantastic. I love the color decor inside of here. I think it complements the white cabinetry very, very well. But even as you can tell on the top with these stack cabinets, that's absolutely perfect. And this would be your mud room. Of course, you do have that three car garage as well. And I'll pan right here one more time. If you notice, you even have these three lighting fixtures overlooking the oversized island. And then right here, you have your dining table, which is perfect. They have it where you have 
a total of eight seats. So it just kind of gives you a basis of how much room you have inside of here. And then now looking into your great room. So again, you do have the high ceilings. You have that large electric fireplace right here as well. Perfect for entertaining. I mean, the open concept is perfect for having the guests over. Absolutely gorgeous. And that's one of those things, you know, depending on what kind of floor plan that you want. I mean, the McKinsey is absolutely fantastic. It's perfect for, you know, mid-sized families or even larger families, as you can tell. And then going into the primary bedroom, you have the tray ceilings on top with that beautiful chandelier coming down as well. You have this nice accent wall right here. And you definitely have a large amount of room inside of here. I love the bay windows over here because you definitely have plenty of space to put these nice decorations as far as the chair is concerned, even with the dresser. And I love going in here. You have your double doors right here. You have the dual sinks inside of here as well. Floating countertops again, and you have this oversized large mirror which is perfect i love that it's just one solid piece gorgeous and then this will be your nice size soaking tub i love right here i gotta let me see okay see if that was a cabinet right there but i love this i love all the tile inside of here definitely gives it the, the nice look it's a nice sleek look and this will be your oversized shower. So per perfect for two people right here. You got your stainless steel uh, waterfall shower heads again, the shower niches right here as well. You got two of those with a built-in shower bench. All right, now this will be the closet. So you got the tile flooring extending in here again with the built-in shelving over here as well. Perfect for the shoes and things like that. And then if you go around here, you have enough space right here. How we always mention putting the suitcase or any luggage that you may have. That way it's out of sight, out of mind. And then this will be another closet right here. And of course you have your toilet. And so this is typically built on a 70 foot lot, but you know, of course, depending on what you need or what requirements you need, we could see about getting bigger lots or smaller lots, depending on what you are looking for. And then of course that was the pantry right there. So you do have a walk-in pantry and we'll go upstairs. So that way you see, but I absolutely love that ceiling up there, you have that accent on that rotunda. And then going up the curved staircase, you're immediately gonna be greeted with your game room. So you have this nice room right here, of course, with the tray ceilings. You have plenty of space over here. As you can see, they have a ping pong table, but if it's something where you wanna put maybe a pool table or just have the sofa up here where you can entertain guests and maybe watch some TV, watch some football. That'll be perfect as well. And this will be the third bedroom right here. So you got carpet inside of here, but depending on if you like carpet or you dislike carpet, we could see about getting that change for you as well. So you definitely have enough room. This does have a full size bathroom as well. You have that shower tub combo with the tile flooring extending in here as well. You got your stainless steel shower head, stainless steel lighting fixtures, recessed lighting extending here. And I love the navy blue cabinets. And then of course you got your window. If it is a little smelly in here, you can go ahead and air that out. And then this will be the closet right here. So it's not a walk-in closet, but you do have 
decent amount of space. And then we'll go right across the way. And that way you can see the media room right here. So you got your ceiling fan inside of here. Look how large this couch is and it fits perfectly in here. The one good thing is about this media room, sometimes you may see other ones that are really snug, but this is almost another bedroom than the amount of space you have in here. So you do have your entertainment center right here. And then with your nice size TV, I believe that's a 75 inch TV. So of course, if you just eliminated that and maybe put a projector that may be perfect for you, give you a little bit more room or a little bit more space. And this will be the fourth bathroom right here. Got the tile flooring, shower tub combo. You got the tile backsplash as well. And then I'll show right here. And this one's connected to the hallway as well as connected to the fourth bedroom. So you got plenty of space. So right here, that's a queen size bed right there with two nightstands. And I think you have adequate space. I mean, with this being almost 3,500 square feet, you definitely can see what we get. I mean, the rooms are definitely not tiny or skimp whatsoever. The good thing is you do have a full size walk-in closet inside of here. I love the windows up here, adding in more natural light. Perfect. And then we'll head back down and go take a look. So again, I mean, this is the model house. So there are a lot of upgrades that you may or may not want. So just depending once you get to, you know, the design center and then you'll figure out structural options and cosmetic options for yourself. That'll be perfect. And then we'll take a look at the covered. Now this is the covered backyard patio right here. So you have this little section over here and it extends all the way over here. Perfect for the family, perfect for entertaining. You got your built-in stainless steel grill over here with your sink. And I'll pan this way. And so keep in mind folks, so they do eventually sell off the model house. So if it's something where you just love this location, you would love to be positioned right back here with the lake view, then we'll figure out a timeline when they do decide to sell off the model house. But keep in mind, they do have plenty of lots so you'll be good to go but that folks is j patrick holmes and i didn't forget the study folks all right ranking family so that was the lovely j patrick holmes i hope you absolutely loved it just as much as i did of course if you do want more information i have all of it in the description below and i'll see you folks on the next property tour all right, Rankin family. So we are looking at the beautiful J. Patrick Holmes. This one is in Artavia here in Conroe, Texas. Now, keep in mind, folks, I showcased the model home just because it's absolutely beautiful. But if it's something where you want to build in a different location, the exact same model, we can definitely discuss your options. I always say reach out to the information below. We'll definitely get you taken care of. But as soon as you walk in, you do have this beautiful black exterior, not to mention with the painted white brick. You have this covered front porch. It's a large covered front porch. And I absolutely love that you have the brick on the bottom as well. So let's go ahead and take a look. This is immediately, as soon as you walk in, this is gonna be your foyer. So I love the fact that you can see the great room from the foyer over there, not to mention your study, but we'll take a right, right here. So that way you can see the first bedroom. So inside of here, just to give you a reference, you have a queen size bed with two nightstands right there. You have carpet inside of here. And a lot of times some folks wanna purchase a property, but they don't want the carpet inside of here. So if that is the case, reach out so we can get you taken care of and find out what the best option is for you. Right here, you have your full size bathroom that is attached right here. You have granite countertops inside of here. 
you have a vinyl flooring, not to mention right here, you have a full size walk-in shower. Just look at that beautiful shower surround. I really love that color. I think it looks neat. And you do have a full size closet. So inside of here, it, you have your built-in shelving. You got the higher ceilings inside of here. So you definitely have a decent amount of space. I mean, a lot of folks would use this as maybe just a uh, guest room or what have you. So this is perfect for them. I would definitely add a mirror frame and a nice, beautiful lighting fixture right here, but to each his own, right? So we'll continue along and you even have a decent amount of space for a dresser. So continuing along, this is going to be your little study area. You have your built-in shelving. I love that you have these double doors right here going inside of here. And keep in mind, folks, this is the Agave plan, but they do have a lot of other plans. So if it's something where you need a full-size set study, we can definitely get you taken care of. So right here is going to be your powder bath. I love the fact that you have that little window right there, bringing in a little bit of natural light. And not to mention, you have a full-size closet right here. So you could easily use that as a, maybe, you know, a coat closet or what have you. And then you have, of course, the coat closet right here as well. So if you wanted to use that as maybe extra storage or have a secondary coat closet, you can definitely add that rack in there. But this is going to be your large size game room. So you have your 20 foot ceilings, floor to ceiling fireplace right here. It's an electric fireplace, oversized, absolutely massive. You have those clear story windows on top, letting in natural light again. And this is gonna be connected to your kitchen. So inside of here, look how beautiful this kitchen is, even extending to your breakfast nook over there. You have the stack cabinets on top. I really love the stack cabinets. A lot of times with these builders, it is an upgrade, but I think it definitely would be worth the money just because of the appearance that it allows for the kitchen to look. So you have your wooden range hood right here. You have your oversized 10 and a half foot island. Absolutely beautiful. You have your five burner stove top as well. You have a decent sized pantry, not a walk-in pantry, but it definitely gets the job done. And I love that you have the sliders inside of the game room as well. Stainless steel appliances, fantastic. Now, even just going into your breakfast nook, if you notice the stack cabinets actually extends inside of here. Plus you have this area, a nice coffee bar area and look at these windows, humongous windows right here. You wouldn't even need to add curtains on right here just because of the amount of light that can, you know, you can add inside of this property. I absolutely love it. So continue along. Like I said, you do have the sliders, but we'll get to the backyard a little bit later. Let's go ahead and take a look at the beautiful primary bedroom. Wow, look how much space you have inside of here. You have your tray ceilings on top with the recessed lighting. You got your bay windows over here. Look how much space you have in here. Not to mention, look at that beautiful light fixture right there. I, I don't know what to say. I mean, goodness gracious. You have your brass candlelight chandelier. You have the king size bed, two nightstands. And just look how much walk room you have. Fantastic. Inside of here, you have the wood-like tile that extends from the great room all the way here to the primary. And then even looking in your beautiful primary bathroom. Wow. So you don't have a ton of space. It really wouldn't be feasible to add a soaking tub inside of here. I always love the soaking tub. Me personally, uh, you know, sometimes you're dealing with a rough day. You might want to take a nice long bath, but I know a lot of people that really could care less about a tub. So if that's you, this would be perfect because you do have an oversized super shower with the waterfall shower head right here, built in shower bench and the shower niche. Absolutely fantastic. But you do have the his and her sink that extends in here with the lighting fixture. Of course, you got your toilet right there to the left. And then inside of here is going to be your primary closet. Now, the one thing I am noticing is that it is a little tighter in here compared to some of the other closets that we have seen. Like I said, if it's something that that is the case for you, 
then this may not be the best plan, but I think it definitely gets the job done without a doubt. And then I'll do another pan of the great room, the kitchen, the stairs, fantastic. So I absolutely love it. The one thing I do love is that you do have the brass handles. And then right here, this is the first time I believe we've seen the utility room and the mud room attached to the great room. So that's one of those things, but really to each his own, you have your closet area right here. And then of course, this will be your garage. So this is what you're essentially greeted with. It is a three car tandem garage. So let's say for instance, if you drove straight in, you enter your, your mud room and then you go straight into the great room. A lot of times, most of the times it's over there by the kitchen or so, or what have you, but you know, there's a first time for everything. So what we'll do is we'll continue up the stairs. You have the wood on the stairs. You have the iron railings as well. And then of course, this is immediately what you would be greeted with. You have that nice size game room right here. You have plenty of space inside of here for an L-shaped couch. You have plenty of space in here for a pool table if that's what you want, or maybe a ping pong table. So the possibilities are certainly endless. And then this would be overlooking the great room. If you had all your guests over there, this is a perfect spot to see that. And then right here, you have a full size bathroom. You have your shower tub combo. The wood like tile extends in here. Look at that nice little window. And that would be your view every time you take a shower. So like I said, right here would be perfect for a nice mirror frame, but I'd absolutely love it. I mean, for the agave, like I said, you have the Falcon, the model just opened up here in Artavia. And this is another bedroom right here. You got your LED ceiling fan right here. You definitely have plenty of space. I like that nook area over here. That's a perfect spot to add a desk. I absolutely love that. And if you're a returning viewer, welcome back folks. Always great to have you. And if this is your first time to the channel, my name is Marcus Rankin. I am a Texas realtor. I get calls, texts, and emails every single week from folks looking to make a move. So if you're in that bucket now or in the future, don't hesitate to reach out. We'll get you taken care of. And consider hitting that subscribe button. I'd love for you to become a part of the Rankin family. And that way you know when I drop a new video every single week. So continue along. You do have this full size bathroom as well. You got dual sinks inside of here. The wood like tile extends. Not to mention you have that shower tub combo again. And the one thing I always mention, I love that you can separate the sink from the actual shower. So like I said, when the kiddos are getting ready in the morning, you don't have to worry because one person can shower and another person can get ready or do their hair in the sink. And of course, here's another full size bedroom. So you definitely have plenty of space inside of here. Like I said, the carpet extends up here, but just depending on your personal preference as far as having carpet or tile, then you know we'll definitely get you taken care of. And we're seeing that as well, a little nook area again. And inside of here, like I said, you could fit a queen size bed with two nightstands easily without any hesitation whatsoever. The higher ceilings, you have that concept inside of here as well, not to mention. And then the final bedroom will be right here. So you definitely have plenty of space. I really love that nook area that two of the bedrooms had inside of here. And then not to mention, you do have the full size closet with that window, bringing in more natural light. So like I said, folks, so this is the agave plan. There's a lot of other plans that J. Patrick Holmes has. And if you notice inside of these model houses, you see absolute luxury just from the furniture, the details, the concepts, the upgrades, like it's nothing short of excellence. And I got a lot of folks that have reached out about J. Patrick Holmes just because of the presentation of the homes. And if that's you, don't hesitate to reach out. We'll get you taken care of. So even right here, I love that you have this wood burning fireplace 
look at this on i mean right now it's about 50 degrees here in the greater houston area so this is a perfect time to turn on that fireplace and just relax especially on a saturday or sunday definitely would be a good spot for it and that folks is a lovely j patrick holmes all right ranking family so that was the lovely j patrick holmes like i mentioned all the time folks so this is the model house from j patrick but they are building in other locations so if that is the case and you want to take advantage reach out to the information below we'll get you taken care of i mean this is an absolute stunning community without a doubt they've just opened up more model homes and i'm gonna bring those to you definitely without a doubt and i hope you folks enjoy this give it a thumbs up i'd really appreciate it and i'll see you folks on the next property tour